Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's the day after the night before where we went to Sydney's Snowflake Data Cloud World Tour and we as Intelligent were an exhibitor there amongst many other vendors. In this video I wanted to give you a short breakdown about the day, show you some behind the scenes footage. I shot some of the footage off my mobile phone um, in portrait mode so it might not come out as well but it is what it is and hopefully it gives you a really good insight into what the day was like. There's about a thousand people there. Really good event, had a lot of good conversations. And if you stay till the end of this video, I'll give you a sneak peek at my second Snowflake book, which is due out next month. Sounds great. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to talk to you about the Snowflake World Cloud Data Tour here in Sydney today. I've just arrived, got my coffee. It is half past seven in the morning, uh, Tuesday morning here in Sydney. Uh, the weather's not looking too great as you can see but we're going to be inside. How are we going to get registered um, and I'm hopefully going to take a bit of footage from behind the scenes before everything gets going and people start arriving here en masse so it's going to be great to Meet some people again in person and also learn a bit about uh, the new features of Snowflake as well. So we're just making our way in and you can see the guys holding the World Cloud Tour signs. Obviously where we got to go. Okay, so we are checked in. I've got my badge. People getting set up at the moment. This is the setup today in the hotel. Serbian Snap Logic 5 Chan. Sounds tribe. Sounds tribe. All the partners and vendors were busy preparing their stands for the day ahead with the Snowflake stand naturally taken center stage. We had Intelligent with Blue Square sponsors, meaning we had a stand too. the behind the scenes coverage I'm here in the main keynote speech area which has just been set up looks pretty pretty sizable event I think they're expecting 1500 people here today um, but looks like a great setup I'll flip the camera around and show you now After a quick look behind the scenes, I was back into the exhibition area and it was starting to get busy. Of course, none of this would have been possible. We've had a great team of people here at Intelligent behind the scenes who worked really hard to make sure that this event was a real success for us. Now, our competition, which we kicked off and ran through the entire day, was for participants to do a time lapse on Gran Turismo on the PS4. Same car, same track, one lap, a winner takes all. It was proven to be spectacularly popular even before the keynote started. First up was the keynote with John Robertson, who's the president of Asia Pacific and Japan for Snowflake. He highlighted the success and growth of Snowflake in recent times. Next up was Fio Homozis, vice president of Australia and New Zealand at Snowflake. And then finally, Chris Child, who flew in from the States, he's the senior director of the product management team at Snowflake and he talked through the key capabilities of Snowflake. New for me was the cybersecurity one which I'm sure we'll all start to hear more about in the near future. Back into the main hall after the keynote and it was super busy. Yeah. 
with our Gran Turismo competition continuing while we continued to meet new people either interested in understanding more about Snowflake or who were already customers and just wanted some advice and guidance. One nice surprise for me was meeting a fellow Snowflake book author, Hamid Qureshi, and I knew of Hamid as he was one of the first people to get a Snowflake related book out to market. And if you haven't heard of it, it's called the Snowflake Cookbook, and I'll pop a link in the description below so you can go and check it out. Great to meet him, and a super nice guy too. As the end of the day drew closer, I signed to give away the last copies of my Snowflake book, Mastering Snowflake Solutions, just before the band came on and the drinks came out and everybody started to relax. It was a really good positive atmosphere where people seemed really grateful to just spend time interacting with each other in person again. If you're watching this and I met you on the day, or if you watch this channel regularly and you think others would benefit from this content, please like and share and help the community out. I'd really appreciate it. So we wrapped up our competition and give away the prize to Henry, who did a pretty quick lap time on the day. Let's just hope he's not going home on the bus with that big basket. Congratulations, Henry, and thanks for taking part. Congratulations, Henry, and thanks to everybody who came to our stand and took part in our competition. And finally, another shout out to the team. I'm really grateful to have the support from all of you and everybody did a really fantastic job on the day. I promised you at the start of the video, I'll give you a sneak preview of book number two. And here it is. This is the Snowpro Core Certification Study Guide, and it's based on the very latest certification from Snowflake, which has just been refreshed. It covers the new six domains. It has revision questions and answers at the end of each chapter to help solidify your learning. And of course, a portion of all the royalties will go to charity. If you're interested in grabbing a copy, then please subscribe to this channel or follow me on LinkedIn to be the first to know when it's released in the next few weeks.